Okay, so I'm winging this, and what I want to do is do a study of uh, normal map baking, curvature map baking, uh, and maybe we'll get into ambient occlusion map baking in the way that our mesh uh, normals have been smoothed prior inside of a 3D application before the baking process inside of Substance Painter. So here we are in Maya, and I'll just go ahead and show you. I have a low res and a high res. I have uh, cylinders, I have uh, big stairs and small stairs, and uh, what I did was I have the low res, let me just go ahead and isolate, select that, and show you what that looks like, and that's just this, and if we take a look with wireframe on shaded, I've smoothed the normals by coming over here and doing a mesh display, soften, harden option to different degrees um, for each of these. So for instance, this one's very hard, it's zero, so it's very faceted. And then this one is 30, 70, 100, 180. And that's the same for all of these. You can see the stairs get very, uh, they don't have that contrast when you get further down the line. Same with these. So why make different sizes and all that fun stuff? Well, you're going to see in a minute why. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn this off. And I'll show you the high res sitting right on top of the low res, which is basically a beveled version of everything else. You can see we're getting a, a weird faceted look here in the high res just from the faceting. But I do have one division there and then one division here. Okay. So the UVs on all these, if I were to take these meshes and take all the low res meshes and show you what I did, I basically shove them all onto one zero to one space here. So if I go to a UV editor here, you can see I have all of my one UV space. We're going to go ahead and probably shoot for 4096 texture space. Same thing has happened with the high res. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the low res geometry, which has one material selected uh, uh, assigned to it, and I'm going to go to File, Export Selection, and FBX, and I'll choose low res. All right, and then take the high res and do file export selection and choose uh, relay high res. What's important to note as we do this when we start baking normals is we're going to use it on a per geometry basis. In this case, it's LR, LR, HR, HR. So make sure all those are properly labeled correctly. Now we go into substance. Okay, so here we are inside of Substance Painter 2017.2. I'm going to go ahead and do file new. PBR metallic roughness, high quality. I'm going to turn on compute tangent space per fragment. The mesh itself, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put in as my low res. And I'm going to uh, put my maps to 4096 and hit OK. And there is all of our meshes, as you can see. And we're going to go ahead and bake out our textures. And I'm going to use a normal. Uh, I'll use turn off all these. I'm going to do normal curvature and ambient occlusion. I'm going to leave all those. Uh, put my map size to 4096. Uh, I'm going to make sure that when I compare uh, the um, names, I'm going to choose this by mesh name. And if you recall, I had the high res H high quality, or I'm sorry, high uh, low res high res HR, and this will be LR. So I'll look it on a per mesh basis and compare it, and I'll put this to subsampling 2 to 2, so it looks nice. I'll leave all the settings here by default and hit Bake. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look. We have the bakes, which look really uh, interesting. Let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, you can see we do have what may look like a fake curvature there but gives itself away along the edge as you can see let's go ahead and take a look at our maps really quick so I'm going to go over here to my viewer settings switches to additional maps and our normal map as you can see is pretty much plain right and that's simply because we didn't include our high res. <laughs> so why don't we include that? So I forgot to put in my high res. I'm going to go ahead and click here and choose the high res proxy. And that's pretty good. So let's go ahead and rebake. Otherwise, you will get no information on your normal map because it's comparing it to nothing, uh, basically to itself. So it's important that the normal map is created first. And from the normal map, it creates the curvature map and the 
um, the uh, occlusion map. So that's the process. High res, low res makes the normal map, and then curvature map and uh, occlusion map are using the high res, low res, but also taking into account, it's really taking into account the occlusion map. That's what's creating this effect. So I'll just let that bake. Okay, so I'm going to hit the letter M to see what we get, and now we have that nice um, smooth edge there, but it gives itself along the edge here. You can see, you know, it's a normal map. It tricks your eyeball, but all the silhouette areas give it away, but it's pretending to be as if it's flat. If I go to my project folder, you can see the normal map that's plugged in here. If I t take it off, you can see the, the mesh that's really there, but we're being tricked. Our eyeballs are being tricked by, I'll just drag normal map back th to see that this is actually smooth. Now, the reason why I made you know, again, lower, low, uh, small size, big size, and all this is because you can see that it's all based on a specific proxy distance. So big textures, if I turn off relative to bounding box, um, I can actually use millimeters inside of Maya. For instance, if I go back into Maya here, you can see that this distance between here and here on this small staircase is 0.14 centimeters. I'm sorry, uh, yeah, 0.14 centimeters. Okay, now let's say if you did have geometry that was this mesh that was you know back here. If it went, if it goes too far back, because that's what it does with the rear, it goes back and grabs information and goes up. So if you set a very high distance for this area, um, you are going to accidentally interpret information over here on this mesh because it's using a universal value of search distances, right? As you can see here inside of our Substance Painter, we have this uh, max frontal distance and max rear distance. Currently, it's set to relative to bounding box percentage-wise, but if I turn this off, I can set that value in there to 0.14, right, and 0.14. So with that said, it'll sample a very small distance here, but it might not work to other geometry. Other geometry might have not have the smoothness interpolated because it's not getting enough reach. So the workaround to that is to bake your normal map inside of, say, Marmoset Toolbag or um, ZBrush or Maya, where you use a low-res, high-res, and use a uh, sort of an interactive envelope cage. There is a cage here which can uh, basically uh, bracket the... Uh, or kind of constrain the out search of the max and, and, and rear distance uh, by kind of saying, hey, don't go any further than this, um, you know, and not interpolate areas that are kind of like on the reverse side. So just kind of keep that in mind. I want to show the artifacts, though, that I have here with a bevel that we interpolated between the high res and low res. So if I come over here to my viewer settings, I'm going to show you something interesting. I'm going to go to additional maps. The normal map looks good, but when we come to the curvature map, I want to show you something weird. Do you see it going from white to black to white? See that? And even right here, we got black to gray to black. Okay, this the black area is supposed to represent the concave areas or where dust is going to settle and where the masks and the generators are going to produce the dirt areas and occlusion areas. And then the curvature map uh, concave areas, the areas in white, uh, will show wear and tear based on the masks. But what you'll get is like uh, like a wear, it'll wear real here and not be worn here and then be worn here in the masks. So that's not good. I don't know what this artifact is, why this artifact is the case. You can see it's a little bit less dramatic on the bigger staircases here. Um, and this is just a big mess because I high res and low res, are, the, the high res was faceted, so let's kind of just leave it as is. But as far as the distance uh, the comparison between all these, not a heavy comparison, uh, as you can see here. Nothing too dramatic. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the normal map, though. I want you to see what the normal map does in this circumstance. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab the normal map. And you will see, let's see if we see any interesting artifacts here and no we don't we're okay okay so let's try out the uh, ambient occlusion map here's one here's another problem that you'll see same thing you're getting black white black that's not how shadows occlude they should just be a pure black in here so how do we how do we fix this problem well I haven't figured it out yet honestly I just find I could do two divisions in the high res three divisions as far as the bevel and I still get this artifact here. I could change the 
distance, the outsearch distance, and still get this artifact. I st I'm not sure what's causing this. Maybe there's something I'm missing, and everybody knows about it, but I don't see any, like if I go to the commons option here, um, even if I increase the max and rear, um, if I take average normals, we can probably, let's see if we turn that off, see if we get any different result. Um, ignore bas back face match, we'll leave that off for now. I like to t turn one thing off to kind of assess uh, an anomaly, just so I can find out what exactly is causing it. So I'm going to turn off average normals and say bake again, see what happens. And as you can see, it looks like we're still getting this artifact here. So I'm going to go ahead and switch back to, uh, just again, come back here to my viewers here and take a look at my curvature map. I'm still getting that annoying artifact. So what do I do? To f what do I do? Because, you know, you could sit there and go, oh, that's fine. I don't give a crap. You know, um, but if you come back here and just hit M for materials and come back, what if I start creating masks in here, right? So I'll just create a mask. All right, so let's add some uh, materials real quick. I'll take a base uh, plastic PVC, and then we'll take some rust. All right, and I'll add a generator on the mask. So I'll take the rust, and I'll add a white mask. And from that white mask, I will add a generator. And from that generator, I will choose uh, rust, or M MG dirt. Let's try that one first. And there's the dirt, but do you notice something weird? If we take the dirt level and dial it back a little bit, take a look. Do you see that? That's not good, right? Because it's basically taking a transparency of your um, occlusion map or your uh, concave or black areas of your curvature map and giving you that issue. Now, can you kind of fix that well there is you can play around here dirt contrast doesn't do it uh, even triplanar you can increase the dirt level right but you're still getting some weird artifact there so what do you you know you can do grunge scale let's go grunge amount so I'll pull this back take the grunge amount and bring it back right and yeah, it's just not, it's not doing it. Ugh, I don't like it. So what do we do about that? Well, what I'm going to do is I am going to come in here into my uh, baking again, and we're going to rebake this. But here's the workaround, and it's not the greatest workaround, but it is a workaround. I'm going to bake my high, uh, high res, or low res, against my low res. So I'm going to just click use low res mesh as high res mesh. I'm going to rebake this. So I'm going to rebake the normal so that I could bake, the, which will in effect change the ambient and the curvature. And then I'm going to the last minute turn these off and then bake this against the high res. So I get my high res curvature. So really we're only drawing black and white maps here. So I'm not worried about, you know, having to incorporate the high res information in the bake of the ambient occlusion or the curvature. Um, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't. It's just looking at the angles itself. So, it, to a certain degree, I might be that might be a little bit off, but whatever. So let's go ahead and rebake. Again, I'm comparing the low res to the low res. There we go. Now you can see we are already getting a better result. See that looking really good. I can go ahead and jump over to my viewer settings, go to my additional maps. You can see my curvature doesn't have that goofy space anymore. Um, and then if I go to my ambient occlusion, you can see the ambient occlusion looks clean. Now, uh, what we do need, as if I hit M to go back to materials, is I need to have that nice, you know, smooth edge, high res versus low res on the normal map, because I don't like that. So what do I do about that? Well, I just come back here to my bake texture sets, and I'll turn off curvature in ambient occlusion, only bake my normal map. I already baked my ambient occlusion curvature, that they're there. But with my normal map, I'm going to go ahead and put in my high res again and bake it based off that. And here we are, we're back. So let's take a look at what we got. So there we go. So we got our map with our, and our dirt is looking pretty good. Like I said, uh, you might 
look at something and go, what is that all about? I'll show you something pretty interesting. That's just an that is just a weird artifact. Let me go ahead and just jump over here to my options here. Actually let's go to my rust. Take that dirt again. Take the dirt level back. You can see it's a normal map trick, so don't freak out. But it is working correctly. So long story short is you first bake with this, with this turned off. I'm sorry, with uh, this out of the way, you know, and blah, blah, cook these, and then turn these two off, go to your normal, bring back your high res, and bake your normal map. And you should be good. You will no longer get that weird artifact in both the, the wear and tear and all this. So, for instance, if I take this generator and put it to a uh, MG mask editor, right, and we can go ahead, we can use the curvature map. Now it's using the convex areas, right? And if we go to our options here for our curvature, we want to use not just the edges, but the cavities and the edges, which is the dual. And now we have both of them selected. And now again, I can come over here and play with uh, this. I can come over here to the texture. I'll add a texture in here. Uh, let's add some black and white spots. And I'll start to crank that up as a secondary map. There we go. And I'll come over here again to my wobble balance. Start to dial in that dirt. And again, you can take your curvature map. You can see it says sharp, fine, and soft. You know, you can play with that. It looks like we're getting a like a drop off here. And again, I talked about normals. Let's go down the pipe here. Look at the difference in the normal, you know, um, the, 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 the uh, you know, from 0 to 30 to 70 to 100 to 120. I'm sorry, to, I'm sorry, to 180. You see the difference in the way that the normal maps, the smoothness that, uh, that has been applied to the faces. See that? The smoother it is, the more blended this is. And over here you can see, look at that. That's all mask. It's halfway. It's, you know, it's, it's, scale does play a reality check here. Okay, you can see even here. These staircases are exactly the same, but this one's scaled down more. But because of scale, it's, it's bleeding further in here. Everything is based on scale. So that's a good workaround, like I said, workaround that I've found. I'm not sure what the issue is. I'm probably missing it. Maybe you guys know it. If you do, post at the bottom. I'm not afraid to say I'm wrong. But I love the contact algorithmic and say, why is it that when I do the high res versus the low res, um, when I create my curvature map and my normal map, I'm getting that artifact. Is there a button that I have forgotten? I don't know. So if you guys do know, please post it. Thank you.